In this short video, we will discuss depreciation using the straight line method through an example transaction. We will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the straight line method, the calculation of the depreciation, as well as the recording of the transaction. The advantages of using the straight line method are that it is easy to calculate. The business charges the same for depreciation from month to month and it is calculated on the original cost price. The disadvantages are the depreciation do not relate to the usage of the asset and the possible decline of efficiency of the asset over time is ignored. For the purpose of this video, we will use the following transaction. On 1 January 2016, Moose Traders purchased a delivery vehicle for 100,000 Rand. The financial year end of Moose Traders is 31 December. Moose Traders are not registered as a VAT vendor. Vehicles are depreciated at 10% per annum using the straight line method. In order to calculate the depreciation on the vehicle using the straight line method, you will need to use the following. The cost price, depreciation rate and the period. In our example, the cost price is given as 100,000 Rand. The depreciation rate is given as 10% and the period is 1 January 2016 to 31 December 2016, thus 12 months. Calculating the depreciation on the vehicle using the straight line method means that you use the cost price times the depreciation rate and then times the number of months in the period divided by 12. Therefore, it is 100,000 Rand cost price times 10% times 12 months divided by 12 months totaling 10,000 Rand depreciation to be recorded in the first year. The first step when recording a transaction is to identify the affected accounts. In our example, the business calculated the depreciation and now needs to record the depreciation for the year on vehicles. The first affected account is depreciation. The depreciation account will increase with the amount calculated for depreciation. Depreciation is an expense account and will thus decrease equity. Therefore, the depreciation account will be debited. The other affected account will be accumulated depreciation. The transaction will increase accumulated depreciation. The contra account accumulated depreciation is credited and will decrease the value of the asset in the statement of financial position. Remember that in financial accounting, there will always be a debit with a corresponding credit. Depreciation is recorded in the general journal. In our example, the depreciation will be recorded on the last day of the financial year, namely 31 December 2016. The date will appear in the first column. In the details column, we first write the account to be debited, which is depreciation in our example, with the amount of 10,000 Rand in the debit column. In the next row, we write the name of the account to be credited, which is the accumulated depreciation account for vehicles in our example. The amount of 10,000 Rand is then recorded in the credit column of the same row. Once this is done, a short narration explaining what the transaction was is written in the next row. When posting the transaction to the general ledger, the depreciation account will be debited with 10,000 Rand and the accumulated depreciation for vehicles account will be credited with 10,000 Rand. In order to calculate the depreciation on the vehicle for the second year, you will need to use the following. The cost price, depreciation rate and the period. In our example, the cost price is given as 100,000 Rand. The depreciation rate is given as 10% and the period is 1 January 2017 to 31 December 2017, thus 12 months. Therefore, to calculate the depreciation for the second year, it is 100,000 Rand cost price times 10% times 12 months divided by 12 months, totaling 10,000 Rand depreciation to be recorded in the second year. 
During the second year, the accumulated depreciation account will have an opening balance of 10,000 Rand. When posting the transaction for the second year to the general ledger, the depreciation account will be debited with 10,000 Rand and the accumulated depreciation for vehicles account will be credited with 10,000 Rand. The closing balance of the accumulated depreciation after the second year will amount to 20,000 Rand. You will note that the depreciation calculated in year 1 and the depreciation calculated in year 2 for this vehicle is exactly the same, namely 10,000 Rand. If you think back to when we discussed the advantages of the straight line method, it was mentioned that the depreciation from month to month or year to year will stay exactly the same. In this short video, we discuss depreciation using the straight line method through an example transaction. We discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the straight line method, the calculation of the depreciation, as well as the recording of the transaction.